Hello, hello, um, and welcome to Friday. I hope it's Friday where you are. Um, yes. So, um, I'm pointing the pen again. It keeps happening. So, uh, before we go on to compound words, I'm pretty sure this is uh, the last bit of the book. I think there's one a, a page we skipped past backs and about, I think it was the second bit of the vowel sounds, but I think that is the book done so uh we have been um wondering what uh we should be going with next um we, we, we thought we'd do a shout out and find out um if there's any um sections of the book that people found tricky would like to have another go at um we'll come up with different questions uh, of course but if there was any sort of element of the book that um that, that, that people found tricky use uh, class dojo or email in and let us know and then we can revisit that um uh yeah um or if all of it was was fairly straightforward we can we can find some um sort of stimuli um sort of other sort of videos like we've used from um the literacy hut uh, or story starters like we had kind of at the the uh the end of the book um and sort of use those to generate some work so let us know if there was a section um uh that, that, that was hard or you'd like another go at and uh, yeah we can have a look at that but anyway Compound words, compound words. Um, so, you've got to join words <coughs> to make compound words. I know this is something that uh, I've talked about uh, in turquoise class with uh, individual people uh, when I've been to, when we've been sort of teaching reading one to one. Uh, mostly because uh, often compound words are fairly or longer, and it can be uh, easy. We can kind of half spot a word at the beginning to sort of cover it up to help read. So we have talked about it, um, I know, with, with, with a fair few people in that sense. Uh, so, yeah, two words can be joined together to make a compound word. Star uh, and fish make starfish. Yeah. Tea and bag make tea bag. Um, and circle the compound word in each sentence. So we went uh, into the garden at lunchtime. Lunchtime. Um, butterfly landed on the grass. Uh, and did you see the rainbow? Now, I mean, there are some words that... Um, very obviously like football or something like that uh that it's really obvious where it, it came from there are some uh, compound words like cupboard um that have been around for so long that they you can't really hear the um the individual words as easily uh cupboard uh you know like like sideboard like a, a the board where you would keep your cups so there are some that have kind of uh become their own thing uh but uh, on the whole uh, you can you can sort of um often just as you read them sort of hear that they are uh, comprised of two different words um and they yeah they are longer and if covering up half of them helps then then go for it so off you go have a crack at page 33 and then um pop back in a little bit for some answers <laughs>